Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. That's enough TV for today. Hey, let's get started on that new book I got at the library today. <laughs> so you like the music channel, huh, T-Bone? Okay, T. We can watch this for a few minutes. Then we'll go read our book. Hey, boy? <laughs> okay. Elizabeth watches that music channel sometimes. I really like the beat of that music. I really like the way they move. I think we could be a really great music group, too. I already started writing a song. Cool. I'd like to play drums for the band. I love their moves, and their songs, and what they wear, and... Would you like to be in our band, Mac? Your band? That's a great idea! Oh, gee, I don't know. Ah, uh, come on! After all, the only thing better than three pop stars... Is, is four pop stars. pop stars! Okay, I'll be in your band. All right. right! And I have the perfect name for us. You Say do? It. The Pack Street Dogs! Perfect! Let's hit it, Pack Street Dogs! Come on, Mac. You can help me sing. Go, T-Bone. Go, Mackie. Go, T-Bone. Go, Mackie. Hello, everybody. Here are the Pack 
Street Dogs. Right now, we're gonna hear from our good friend, Matt. <clears throat> Ma, 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 Mac is my name, and I'm a dog who really appreciates great rock and roll a lot. Ow! Singing in this wonderful style, with its roots in rhyme and blues, is better than falling off a log. Ah, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I'm just a little uncomfortable singing this kind of song. You're not the only one who's uncomfortable. Uh, I could use some help in the rhythm section, Mac. I'd be great at that, Clifford. Together, we could really rock this town. Great! So let's do this number one more time. Take it, Mac. Uh, that was really original. Oh, thanks. But you know, I'm not sure drumming is really my thing either. Right, right. You probably have some more other talent that's an even more talented talent. Uh huh. Maybe you could try dancing with Cleo. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, I'll think about it. But right now, I better get home. It's almost dinner time. Me too. I have to write some more words to our song. I can't think of anything else to rhyme with dog and log. Just write about what's important to you. Okay, then. Let's meet back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Ready to rock and roll. Right on. Yes! Mac, kick, 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 kick it. Nice moves, Mac. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay with us, Mac. We're supposed to stay together. Oh, I'm sorry, Cleo. I guess I'm really more of a solo artist. What do you mean? I just don't think I fit into this band. My dancing style is different from yours, my drumming borders on the avant-garde, and my voice is... well, it's really more suited for musical comedy. Uh, Mac? Do you want to fit into this band? Well... yes, I do. Then we'll find a way to fit you in. Good friends don't leave anyone out who wants to be in. Hey, T-Bone, that sounds like it would make a good song. Yeah, it would. <clears throat> we'll never leave you out. We'll always let you in. We're the Pack Street Dogs, and we'll greet you with a grin. We'll make you feel at home. You'll never be left out, because spending time together is what it's all about. Bow wow. The Pack Street Dogs are cool, and on this you can depend. We all count upon each other. We're together till the end. Bow wow. Wow, Mac, that was so cool. Those are the best words I've ever heard for a song. Hey, that's where you fit into this band, Mac. You can write the words to our songs. Cool. Yeah. Well, of course. Why didn't I think of that before? I am great at writing lyrics, you know. Uh-huh. And you're really good at writing words to songs, too. Uh, right. Thank you, T-Bone. So come on, everyone. Let's rehearse. We've got a show to do this weekend. Street dogs from the island of Birdwell. Listen very closely, we've, we've got a tell to tell. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone. It's all about our friendship, it's as good as any other. 
We're all very close, like a sister and three brothers! Clifford is our drummer, he's the biggest of us all! His heart's as big and friendly as he is red and tall! Then there's little Cleo, she really loves to dance! She'd love to have you join her! Come on, I'll take a chance. Over there is Mackie, the one who writes the songs. Once you know the words, we hope you'll sing along. Woo! Did I tell you that I'm T-Bone and I'm the singing dog? Rocking with my friends should be falling out for long. We are the Pat Street Dogs, and we count upon each other. We are friends to the end, and we depend on one another. Our loyalty and friendship have brought us very far. When you care about your friends, then you are a superstar. Everybody say bow! Say bow! bow. Say wow! Story, don't you? Woof, woof. <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Beautiful Boat. It was a gorgeous blue skied afternoon, and Speckle and his friends decided to spend it sailing their toy boats. Everyone had made their own, and they were very proud of how wonderful their boats looked. But suddenly, Ravi's boat started sinking and then it disappeared under the water. Without a boat, Rabbi couldn't play, and that wouldn't be fun for anyone. Luckily, Speckle had an idea. They could each take a piece from their own boat and put them together to make a brand new boat for Rabbi. Which they did. Soon, Rabbi's new boat was sailing skillfully next to the others. Watching it glide across the water, everyone agreed that the boat they made together was an especially beautiful boat. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. Coming to Birdwell. Go, Clipper! Watch what happens when I run with it, Cleo. Clipper, stop! <laughs> Sorry, T-Bone. Is your sandcastle okay? Uh-huh. It's a great sandcastle, T. Thanks. I've been working on it all morning and... Whoa! Hey! You won't believe it, guys. I have the most amazing news. Mac, you almost ran into T-Bone's very cool sandcastle. Cool? I'll tell you what's cool, Cleo. Guess who's coming to Birdwell Island today? Who? Who? Champion Oscar Owens Bright Like the Sun. Never heard of him. Sorry, Mac. Me neither. <laughs> Never heard of him? His name does sound kind of familiar. 
It should sound familiar to anyone who knows anything about dog show champions. Oscar Owen, bright like the sun, is only the most famous champion in the entire world. <gasps> oh, that Oscar Owen, bright like the sun. Well, why didn't you say so? Isn't it exciting, Cleo? I'm finally going to meet a dog that's actually won more medals than I have. It's almost too much to believe. Right, right, right. He's won uh, best, uh, best. In show? Right, in show for uh, three, four, five. Five years in a row. Wow. And he's actually coming to Birdwell Island today? I can't wait to meet him. Think he'll want to play at the beach with us? <laughs> Oh, please, T-Bone. You don't play at the beach with someone like Oscar. He's much too uh, special for that. He is? Gosh, if he's so special, maybe we all need to be as special as we can possibly be, too. You're absolutely right, Cleo. If we even hope to be friends with Oscar, we have to show him that we're not just plain old regular dogs. Gee, I think I'd like to be his friend. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's go make ourselves special. Let's go. Okay. Gosh, I think we're pretty special just the way we are. show five times, but I am definitely the most fluff-up and docious dog around. <gasps> what am I going to do? I know I'm special, but, but Oscar is so very special. He's won a million medals and a trillion trophies. He's won best in show, best in class, best form, best snout. But I don't believe he's ever won best smile. And I have 14 times. Ha <laughs> ha, now that's special. No one smiles like Mac. I don't know, T-Bone. I can't think of anything special about me that might impress Champion Oscar. Everything about you is special, Clifford. You're one of a kind, just like me. <gasps> Ahem. Speaking of special... Wow! Look at your fluff, Cleo. It's the fluffiest. So, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? What? Are you okay, Cleo? Oh no! My fluff! Oh, phew. thank goodness it's just a dent. You look really special, Cleo. I wish I could think of something special to do. Well, you are the only dog I know who's almost two stories tall. I guess that is kind of special. Of course it is. You're really big and really red. All you have to do is find a way to look your biggest and your reddest. Whoa! Oh! No one is bigger and redder than Clifford. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Gosh. What's wrong with your face? This is my verse smile smile. Isn't it special? Uh, sure. Special. <laughs> and what are you going to do to impress champion Oscar T-Bone? Uh, I don't know. Why can't I just be myself? <laughs> oh, you. Because it's just not enough, T-Bone. Oh, oh. <gasps> that must be him. But I can't see him. 
Me either. Clifford, is he coming? There he is. I think he looked at me. He was great. He's the most fabulous dog I have ever seen. Gee, he looked just like a regular dog to me, and he seemed really nice. Uh, he's definitely not regular. He's, he's a star. And I found out he's staying at Dr. Din's house while he's here. Wow, let's go over and see if we can meet him. Come on, let's go. Hi! Hello! Welcome to Burwell Island! Hi! My name's T-Bone! Oh. Well, uh, hello. I'm Mac. Would you like to come over to my house and see all my medals? I don't have as many as you, of course, but we could, you know, compare and talk about our experiences, the challenges of competition, the thrill of triumph, the agony of fleas, that sort of thing. Uh, well, no, no, thank you. Oh, it did it! <clears throat> Hello. I'm Cleo. I could take you over to meet Monsieur Kibble if you would like. He's my personal groomer. I'm sure he'd just love to give you a free bath and brushing. Oh, well, that's nice, but uh, I don't think I really need a bath right now. I'm Clifford. Just climb aboard and I'll show you around all the really big places on the island. No. I mean, it's nice of you to offer. But I think I'll just stay here. Is that a new ball? It's really cool. We love to play ball. Maybe we could all go down to the beach and play together. <gasps> <gasps> uh, that sounds like fun, T-Bone, but well, are you sure your friends would want to? I mean, it seems like they would rather do other things. Oh, they just got a little carried away trying to impress you today. But they're really just plain old regular dogs. Honest. Okay. I guess it's not fair to judge anyone until you get to know them. Come on, everyone. Let's go play at the beach. Here it comes, Clifford. Get it, Oscar. Yeah! Great shot, Clifford. Thanks, Oscar. You know, you're nothing like what we thought you'd be, Oscar. You're just a normal dog. Well, you guys are nothing like I thought you'd be, either. I guess we must have seemed a little strange to you, huh? Well, a little. We wanted you to like us so much that we were really trying to impress you. You did impress me. We did? Yep. The minute you started just being yourselves. Now, let's play ball! <laughs> hey, look, guys. There's KC. He's helping Mrs. Young. Everyone can use a helping hand now and then. And helping someone out can sometimes turn out to be fun. It looks like KC really likes helping Mrs. Young. I always feel good when I help someone. Hey, why don't we all go and see if we can find someone to help right now? Okay! 
away! The best part of helping others is how good it feels. The person you're helping feels good, and so do you. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others. started on that new book I got at the library today. <laughs> so you like the music channel, huh, T-Bone? <laughs> Okay, T. We can watch this for a few minutes. Then we'll go read our book. Hey, boy? <laughs> okay. Elizabeth watches that music channel sometimes. I really like the beat of that music. I really like the way they move. I think we could be a really great music group, too. I already started writing a song. Cool. I'd like to play drums for the band. T-Bone's the name, and I'm a rock doll! 
Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone, uh huh. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. We're going to be a great music group, just like the bands on TV. Really? I love those bands. I love their moves and their songs and what they wear and... Would you like to be in our band, Mac? Your band? That's a great idea. Oh, gee. I don't know. Ah, uh, come on. After all... Well, the only thing better than three pop stars is four pop stars! Okay, I'll be in your band. All right. right! And I have the perfect name for us. You Say do? It. The Pack Street Dogs! Perfect. perfect! Let's hit it, Pack Street Dogs! Come on, Mac. You can help me sing. Go t -bone, go Mackie, go t -bone, go Mackie. Hello, everybody. We're the Pack Street Dogs. Right now, we're going to hear from our good friend, Mac. <clears throat> ma, 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 Mac is my name, and I'm a dog who really appreciates great rock and roll a lot. Ow! Singing in this wonderful style with its roots and rhyme and blues is better than falling off a log. Uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I'm just a little uncomfortable singing this kind of song. You're not the only one who's uncomfortable. Uh, I could use some help in the rhythm section, Mac. I'd be great at that, Clifford. Together we could really rock this town. Great! So let's do this number one more time! Take it, Mac! Uh, that was really... Original. Oh, thanks. But you know, I'm not sure drumming is really my thing either. Right, right. You probably have some more other talent that's an even more talented talent. Uh huh. Maybe you could try dancing with Cleo. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, I'll think about it. But right now, I better get home. It's almost dinner time. Me too. I have to write some more words to our song. I can't think of anything else to rhyme with dog and log. Just write about what's important to you. Okay, then. Let's meet back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Ready to rock and roll. Right on. Yes. Follow me, Mac. Mac. 